Today, we're going to be building an AI appointment setter that integrates directly into your Instagram inbox, is able to scrape the lead details and identify whether the lead it's talking to is an ICP or not, automatically hand over conversations to you if necessary. And I'm going to be showing you the exact system that we use to track all leads and follow-ups that we need to do. Everything you see in this video is going to be provided to you for free as a template. And all you need to do to get it is click the link in the description down below and join our free school community. Now the tools you're going to need to build this out are N8N, which is where we're going to be building our AI appointment setter. You're going to get the template for that, all the prompt templates, etc. The second tool is many chat, which is where we're going to integrate the AI appointment setter so that it can read and reply to your Instagram DMs. Third tool is data prism, which is what we're going to use to scrape the actual leads Instagram profile and I was able to get you guys a special discount on this tool where you can do your first 750 requests completely for free and finally we're going to be using DM tracker to track every single lead in our pipeline and keep track of when we need to follow up with leads and get advanced statistics on what we're doing inside of our inbox now first things first you're going to need to get this many chat template using the link down below in the description it's going to take you to our free school community inside the classroom section you're going to find the module on this specific YouTube video where you're going to be able to download the template. Now, if you don't already have an N8N account, you can go and sign up for the starter plan, which is going to be on a monthly basis, 24 euros per month. And this is going to be more than enough for you to start out. Once you're inside your N8N, all you need to do is click on create workflow, click the three dots in the top right hand corner and click on import from file. Simply go ahead and select the template that you just downloaded, which should end in dot JSON and click on open. This is now going to fully import the template inside of your N8N to save Save everything as it is right now. Next, we're going to need to import this ManyChat automation, which you see on screen right here. If you don't yet have a ManyChat account, you can sign up for a free 14 day trial. You do need the pro plan, which costs $15 a month in order to make this work. Now inside the school community, you're going to see a link to import the ManyChat template, which is going to bring you to this page right here. All you need to do is click on save to ManyChat and select the specific account that you want to save the flow to. Once you've done that, you can simply go to automations and you're going to see imported from AI sales system, which is our Instagram sales system. And inside of that folder, you're going to be able to find this specific automation. Now, before we do anything else inside of ManyChat, let's go back to our N8N template. And we're going to need to start verifying and setting up some keys. Now, the first thing you're going to notice is that your open AI nodes are going to be empty. So we're going to need to get our open AI API key. For this, simply go to platform.openai.com slash API dash keys. And if you don't already have an account here, you can simply use the same credentials you use for ChatGPT to log into this platform. An essential thing you need to do in order to make this work is go to settings, billing, and add a payment method in the payment method section. Since the API bills you on tokens used and the cost here is very, very minimal, you will need a payment method. Otherwise, everything else is going to fail. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and go back to the API key section, click on create new secret key, name the key as you want, click on create secret key and copy it out. We then go back into N8N, click on the OpenAI node, click on credentials, Click on create new credential, add in the API key. You can name this as you want. So I'll just say YouTube video 6th November. Click on save. And if it says credential and connection tested successfully, you are good to go. We All we then need to do is go to the second OpenAI node, which is going to be the OpenAI chat model down here. Open it up and select the API key that we just connected. Once you've done that, we're going to need to set up a couple keys inside of this first node right here. I've made it very easy for you to adjust everything. So all you need to do is click on this node and we're going to need to configure a couple different keys. The first thing is going to be to get our ManyChat API key. For this, we're going to go back into ManyChat, click on settings. On the left-hand side in the menu, we're going to scroll down to extensions where it says API. And here we're going to see our API key. We can simply copy out this key right here go back into N8N and paste it into the value field right here. We also need to specify some ManyChat tags. For this, we're going to go back into ManyChat and under automation, you're going to see the tags section. Click on this and you're going to see imported tags from AI sales system. So all of these tags are already created for you. All you need to do is go ahead and find the tags and match them up. So first, we're going to look for the ICP tag, which is going to be added when somebody matches our ICP. For this, we're going to find the ICP match tag, copy the tag ID, go back into N8N and paste it in. Next, we're going to need the AI active tag. 
For this, we're simply going to find the AI active tag inside of ManyChat go ahead and hover over, copy the tag ID and paste it in. And finally, we're gonna need the human handover tag, which is added when the AI hands it over to a human. And for this, inside of ManyChat, we're gonna find human handover. We're gonna hover over it, copy the tag ID and paste it into N8N. Now, the last thing we need is a scrape API key in order to be able to scrape the Instagram user's profile. For this, we're going to go to Data Prism. Using the link down below in the description, you're going to be able to get 750 free requests, which is an offer that doesn't exist anywhere else. After your free requests, which by standard are 500 free, but using the link down below, you'll get 750, you will pay as you go. So you'll only pay for as much as you use. This is the most affordable option in the world for this specific solution. So go ahead and sign up. And once you're inside your account, all we need to do is click on API keys, click on create new API key, we can name it. So I'm going to name it YouTube video 6th November, click on create and copy this key right here. We're then going to go back into N8N and simply paste the scrape API key in this field down below. We have now configured everything necessary except for the prompt. So let's quickly touch on that and then we'll go ahead and implement it into ManyChat and talk about the follow-up tracking. To adjust the AI and how it behaves, all you need to do is click on the set prompt values field right below where it says switch instructions. When you open this up, you'll see that everything is organized very cleanly and all you need to do is adjust these variables and these variables will dynamically be fed into your prompts so that you can use our proven prompt framework with your custom variables. All of these variables are already pre-filled in the template with what you're seeing on screen right here. And all you need to do is adjust your name, adjust the agent backstory. We found that it really helps if you give a little bit of a backstory on who you are and what you're doing so that the agent understands its persona, the company name, your business description, where you can describe what your business does, what you offer, etc. your response plan instructions, which is essentially the script. And here I I've left my entire script framework for you to look through and analyze and adjust. What's really important here is that we want to give examples. So we don't give it a script that's written out word for word. Instead, we say, once you understand their specific pain, ask about their current approach, and we give a couple different examples so that the AI stays flexible in all situations. If you would give only one example, it'll stick to that a little bit too strictly, even when it doesn't make 100% sense in that situation. So simply go through what you see right here and adjust it for your specific use case. It really makes a lot of sense to spend a little bit of time on this, and you can obviously always take this, copy it out, go into Claude or ChatGPT, paste it in and explain your business and ask it what it needs to customize it to your needs and ask it to ask you questions so that it can customize it to your needs and then simply do a voice note and explain what you need. Once you've completed this, you can move on to the response rules. These are rules that we want the AI to follow when it's responding to leads. There's very general stuff here, such as if someone doesn't reply to your question, do not move on to the next one. Do not parrot back what they said. Avoid mentioning their name unless it's your first message because sometimes AI will repeatedly mention the name in every single message. So these are just some general rules that we've added in and you can always tweak and adjust them if needed. Now there is some personalization in here that you need to adjust. For example, here I say, do not speak of a meal in the third person. So you would have to adjust that to your use case. And here I say, never share the price for the AI DM sales accelerator, as this needs to be determined through call and the AI sales system should only be offered if the person does not yet make a few thousand through their Instagram. So this is also something which you would need to adjust. The rest you can leave as is because they are very general rules that you generally want to follow in your appointment setting process. Next up is knowledge. Here we simply add in some knowledge on what we do, where you can find things, etc. So just some general knowledge that's good for the AI to know, as well as objections and how to handle those objections. So you can add all of those in here. Next up is style. So we simply have some style guidelines, writing short and direct messages, speaking in a casual way, avoiding stating the obvious, avoiding saying ha ha. Uh, st stuff like that. And you can adjust this to whatever tone and style you want your AI to speak in. And finally, we have handover reasons where the AI will stop the conversation and no longer reply. And you can add your reasons in here. As of right now, I only have the reason if the lead repeatedly speaks nonsense, if the lead is rude and insulting, you can also add in additional rules such as if the lead is already 
an existing client, and you can add any other rules that may apply in your situation. Once you've completed that, we're pretty much good to go. All we need to do is click on save and go ahead and activate the workflow. Once you've activated the workflow, we're gonna go ahead and go to the main webhook, click on this. We're gonna select the production URL and copy out this URL. We're now gonna go back into ManyChat, go to automations, click on the template that you just imported earlier, click on edit, and all you need to do inside of this template is go to the edit and flow node, click on it, click on the external request and simply remove the URL that's already written and paste in the URL that you just copied. You can then go ahead and click on save. And inside this template, there's one important thing to pay attention to, which is this time delay right here. This section right here determines how long we wait after the lead sends us a message before we reply. Meaning if somebody sends a message, we're going to wait 30 seconds to see if they send an additional message and automatically batch them together so that we can reply to them all at once. When it's in production, I would recommend increasing this time delay to something around 90 seconds, but you can leave it at 30 if you want to give very quick replies and you can go as low as 10, for example, when you're testing. By default in the template that you imported, it's gonna be set to 30 seconds. Next, we're gonna to need to go ahead and configure our default reply for this and make sure you click update on the flow when you're ready. Go ahead and go to settings, Instagram, and here you're gonna find the default reply section. In, in your case, there's likely not yet gonna be a default reply set up. So you can go ahead and click on select existing, select the specific flow that we just set up together and click on pick this automation. You can then simply click here to go back to the automation. And this is very, very important for this to work. You need to go to the default reply, click on it and make sure it's selected as every time. Otherwise it will not trigger for every single message the user sends and only do it once per 24 hours. So make sure you select every time in the default reply. Once you've done that and you click on update, this is going to be live inside of your Instagram account. If you don't yet want it to be live, you can turn off the default reply flow and instead add a keyword for testing. So you could go to a new trigger, click on user sends a message, detect specific words in a message, and if message contains one, two, three, four, five, and click on create. Now you could test the AI inside of your account without it triggering for other people by simply adding one, two, three, four, five at the beginning or at the end of every single message you send. And I'll show you that in a second. Now, all you need to do is go into Instagram and send a message to the account that you have connected. Now, because we selected message contains one, two, three, four, five, instead of the default reply for testing, we're going to go ahead and say one, two, three, four, five. Hey, how are you? If we go into many chat and go to live chat and all, we're going to see the message came right here and it's going through the flow with the smart delay just started so it's waiting 30 seconds to see if I send a second message if I do send a second message I also need to add one two three four five I want more info we're gonna send that message and as you can see inside of ManyChat it now batches it together and includes both messages as the input. Now, as you can see, the message was processed and what happens now is incredibly cool. So we changed the custom field called lead details and inserted all information about the profile that we talked to. It has the first name. It knows that I'm the founder of Omnifusion and Auto at GDM, talking about record months in the business, being in Bali and Bangkok. It knows a lot about me. It classified my gender. It, it added in topics which I'm interested in and all of this information if you refresh your menu chat is now inside of a custom field down here where you can see lead details and all the information is saved right here. We also added a tag ICP match, as you can see here, because I match the ICP that I determine. Now, in order to adjust the ICP match criteria, you can simply go into this message a model node right here, the one down here, open it up and here you can adjust your qualification criteria to adjust when somebody is an ICP or not. As we can see in ManyChat, the reply was sent out. We also received the reply directly inside of Instagram. And if we go into N8N and go to executions, we're gonna be able to see the execution two minutes ago right here. And we can see all the details and the entire process that it went through as well as the message generation. Now you can go through the entire conversation right here by just keep continuing to add one, two, three, four, five and replying to the messages. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, I'm trying to get more calls booked from my Instagram. And we can simply continue the conversation in that way, look at what we like and what we don't like. And in order to adjust things, all we need to do is go into N8N, 
go to the set prompt values node and adjust the response plan instructions or response rules. Those two are going to be the main fields that you need to adjust when it comes to what the AI does. You can also adjust style, knowledge, etc., depending on what situations you see. Now, once you're happy with the AI, you can simply go back to your automation, select the flow, click on edit. And all we need to do now is turn on the default reply for it to reply to every single message on the accounts so that you no longer need to add the one, two, three, four, five into every single one of your messages. You now have a fully functional AI appointment setter, but unless you track what's going on and know when to follow up with people when they drop off in the middle of the conversation, this is only 50% of the puzzle. For this, we're gonna be using DM Tracker, which is also already built in as part of the template that you imported. And all you need to do is go to DM Tracker and sign up for your free 14 day trial. Now inside of DM Tracker, you're gonna be able to see all outreach you did, and you're gonna be able to configure timeframes when follow-ups are due and see all the conversations and when you need to follow up with them. On top of that, you get advanced statistics, such as how many follow-ups you sent, what your follow-up success rate, meaning follow-up reply rate is, your outreach sent, your outreach reply rate, and so many more insights. DM Tracker has a fully optimized onboarding, so all you need to do is go in there and watch all the videos to fully understand the platform. For this specific use case, all I want to do is be able to track follow-ups and understand when I need to follow up with people after the AI setters conversation dropped off. For this, all I'm gonna do is go to settings, go to connections, and I'm gonna copy out the authentication token right here. I'm then gonna go back into ManyChat, go to settings, go to fields under the automations tab, select bot fields, and you're gonna see a folder imported from either AI sales system or DM tracker AI. And here you're simply gonna select the token, paste it in, go back to DM tracker, copy out the organization ID and paste that inside of your many chat in the DM tracker organization ID section. Now every single message will be tracked by DM tracker and you're going to be able to see when you have to follow up with people. If you're interested in exactly how to use DM tracker for outreach, tracking outreach, tracking reply rates, and so much more, I have a video that I'm going to link right below this one, which you can go ahead and check out. And you now have a fully functioning AI appointment setter inside of your Instagram DMs that's able to look at the leads profile and you're able to track all follow-ups necessary inside of your Instagram inbox. Now, this is just the beginning and an easy way for you to start, but we have a much more advanced system with a ton of additional features such as listening to voice memos, splitting up messages, updating CRM data, and so much more, which we've implemented for over a hundred high ticket agency clients. So if you're a business owner and you want the best AI system in the world, or if you're an AI agency and you want the best system to be able to sell to your clients, and use our proven frameworks, go ahead and schedule a call using the first link down below in the description. And let's see if we can make something happen together. And with that being said, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this in the future.